Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowery, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing psoriatic arthritis and nine natural tips for helping psoriatic arthritis. Make sure you stay tuned right until tip number nine, which is my favorite combination of natural anti-inflammatories to help with this condition. So tip number one is to fix your circadian mismatch. So what does this mean? Well, we all have circadian rhythms, which is how our biology is in hopefully proper sync with the earth, with the light cycles, with the moon cycles. And part of this is actually fixing our leptin resistance. If this is something that is plaguing us and this leads to autoimmunity, it leads to inflammation in the body, both of which are a factor with psoriatic arthritis. So if you missed my video on leptin resistance, make sure you check that out. And this will really help you to get in sync with your circadian rhythms and minimizing those negative effects of having too much leptin when your brain is not recognizing that it's there. Tip number two is to get a restful night's sleep. So sleep is very restorative and really helps in terms of that inflammatory response. This is when our body and our organs detoxify during proper sleep and this is really important for psoriatic arthritis. Tip number three is to fix your leaky gut. So leaky gut syndrome and fixing your microbiome, which you may have heard about before, is really important. So, you know, different probiotic foods are great, like sauerkraut, kimchi, as well as maybe going to a probiotic supplement, which is really important for ensuring that we have enough of those healthy flora in the microbiome, which again is related to that inflammation and related to the way that our immune system can be reacting to things that it shouldn't be. So fixing that leaky gut is really important and finding the right probiotic design for your human digestive tract is an important thing to do. So check out the links below and we'll help to steer you in the right direction there. Tip number four is to decrease the inflammatory fats in your diet. And this is really common for, you know, especially here in North America, to be eating a lot of the polyunsaturated fatty acids. And this includes corn oil, canola oil, margarine, all of the vegetable oils and seed oils can be very inflammatory to the body. And this is something that we definitely want to decrease, as well as too many sugars and hidden sugars in food. So decreasing our exposure when Whenever we can, of course, it's in our control and power to be able to do this will go a long way at helping that psoriatic arthritis and the inflammation associated with it. Tip number five is to use a castor oil pack. So if you missed my episode here on YouTube on how to do the castor oil pack, make sure you check it out with the step-by-step -step guide on how to use the castor oil pack. And you can use this not only on the abdomen and your liver for detoxification and helping with the internal organ health, but you can actually use the castor oil pack exactly on your areas of concern with the psoriatic arthritis. So whether that's your knee, it could be an elbow, it could be the wrist, the hand, anywhere that you have that pain and inflammation, you can use the castor oil pack and it will really help you. So I want to hear, so please leave messages in the comments below. I'd love to hear how this is working for you along with the other tips in this video. Tip number six is to decrease your toxic light exposure and also your EMF exposure. And this combination is deadly in terms of autoimmunity, in terms of inflammation in the body. So decreasing any artificial light as much as you can, especially after the sun has gone down is very important. And also that radiation from devices. So whether that's cell phones and iPads and you know any type of electronic device and tablet and TV monitors, you want to decrease that exposure as much as you can. Tip number seven is to increase your DHA in your diet. So whether this is from seafood or small fish, fatty fish, you want to get more of that DHA in your body. Sometimes you may need to go to a DHA supplement and you're always looking for a pharmaceutical grade fish oil supplement that's higher in the DHA because most of the fish oil supplements on the market are actually higher in the EPA. And as humans, we tend to be more deficient in the DHA and it's with the DHA that helps to run our internal battery in our cells, it's needed for our nerve cells and our brain function. So getting enough DHA is really important for that inflammation in the body as well as it's related to the psoriatic arthritis. 
Tip number eight is to incorporate some turmeric in the diet and maybe as a supplement as well, especially with the standardized curcumin, which is that active ingredient component of the turmeric. And I like to, you know, usually recommend a supplement that doesn't contain pepper. And most of the turmeric supplements on the market with the curcumin contain pepper. And this can be a little bit inflammatory, so I don't like that so much. So finding a great curcumin supplement with the turmeric without the pepper, but also helping with the absorption of that nutrient is really important. So we'll have links below to help to steer you in the right direction for that. And tip number nine, which is my favorite combination of natural anti-inflammatories. These are natural COX-2 inhibitors, if you've heard about that in terms of conventional methods of treating arthritis and inflammation. These are natural ones without the si negative side effects associated with some of the pharmaceuticals. So this combination of MSM, as well as glucosamine sulfate, chondroitin sulfate, and boswellia, which is frankincense, and these are taken internally in combination to really help with that inflammatory response. So not only does this help with inflammation, but it can be remarkable in terms of helping with the pain as associated to that inflammation. And again, completely natural ingredients without those negative side effects, which often go hand in hand with taking, you know, some of the conventional methods of treating pain and inflammation. So those were my nine natural tips for psoriatic arthritis. I hope that you're going to use these tips yourself and let your family and friends and loved ones know about these tips that I've shared and hopefully you've learned something new and you know I'd love to hear from you please give me a big thumbs up also leave your questions and comments below in the comment section and just you know maybe just pop a hello in there to say hello Dr. Bowering and you know I'd love to have that interaction with all of you so if you're new here make sure that you are subscribed as well and you turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell and click all notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching today